Enchanted, come to me. Enchanted.
wielding power of the ancient Lord of believe believe the dragon born call it's a none to the evil of all Skyrim's fall The darkness has passed and the legend yet grows. You'll know, you'll know the dragonborn's come. Oh, I think I made it back in time, chat. Let's go. Let's see. What'd you say about my rolls? Oh, I don't know what's going on. I just came back. I got them Texas Roadhouse rolls. Did you get them yet? Dude, Texas Roadhouse, they're delicious. Alright, we have everybody but Death. And Death would have been here, but he forgot to tell me that his father and daughter like dances today so i was like don't worry about it <laughs> yeah what the fuck death no i'm just kidding i hope he has fun with his daughter here as a to your point i will and shred this this is all gone now okay i used it towards our yep diamonds. all right so does everyone still see where we are down here where we just killed uh the corpse flower down here all right do we need a recap of what happened, or does everyone remember? Uh-huh. You guys got some pretty sweet loot. Did you guys annotate it? Did you guys all also level up to level 6? Alright, good. Fantastic. Great. Um, since death isn't here, Zoop is still kind of, you know, trying out the whole thing of being under someone's control. It's a new concept for him. Do you still want to maintain control of him, um, Teagle? I mean, I didn't level him either, but yeah, he'll be fine. All right. Fantastic. All right, so everyone's got their goodies. Uh, what were you guys doing after you have examined all the corpses from the corpse flower? I gotta make sure that they can hear you. Here we go. Oh, Jesus Christ, I almost fell out my chair. Right. so you guys examined the corpses from the corpse flower that's how you guys got all that loot and you killed this whole place 
that's how you got the exp so where do you guys want to go from here you guys are saying you wanted to leave this place and they suggested up through this way that you came in yep i think that's the plan all right so you guys are all all you guys together look at you look at you guys you guys are so cute you guys are all the way up here now um when you get to here it looks kind of dark at the edge um but thank you thank you that will be 14.95 wow um jesus so do you guys want to go to the right or to the left and the kind of for a king road sorry right. you guys are here right. there's there's a way this way and then there's a way this way which way do you guys want? uh which way did we come i don't know neither do you but what's the left side look like and what does the right side well the look right like? side's kind of dark and shady and got like mold, purple, slightly bioluminescent mold on the ground. And the the left side has bioluminescent mushrooms. And it's got spider webs across it. So So you want to go spider side? I heard spider side with that attitude. Uh, your, your fathers are over there? True! There's only one dad. There's one dad, uh, but no, he no. There's one dad, There's but he takes... Dad. He yep. used Shadow Clone Jitsu. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> one father in many forms. You know how hard I had to like multi class him to make that happen? Like a trans. Dude, I had to. <laughs> Your dad's a trans. Oh my god. <laughs> I had to like do mirror image, but find a way to be able to do mirror image and fucking, um. What is it? Uh. Disguise self at the same time? <laughs> Such a wild way. Okay, so right or left? Someone pick. Uh, one is left, two is right. Right. Right it is. You guys are like, ugh. Spiders. You guys shuffle this way. I don't know if this is the right way, but I made new maps, so this is where we're going now. Just informing you. New map. New map. Is everyone excited for a new map? I'm excited yeah, for so. a new map. You know what's really cool about these new maps? They aren't even populated with enemies. So even I don't know what's on the map yet. Alright. You walk out. And let's see. Top or bottom of the map? Oh, you, yeah, it's better to start here. Uh, let's put you guys there. Wait, did I not put you guys there? What the fuck? Hold on, wait a second. I went to copy you guys, but I guess I didn't. Okay, copy. And... No? These, these are War Fury's favorite maps. Remember that one time we were in the wild? The wildlands? Yeah, I was high on mushrooms. And you were high on mushrooms. You were like, wow, this map is so great, Garva. I'm like, what? <laughs> well, look. From the same textbook. Alright, can everyone see the map? Yeah. Yes. Alright. Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. I saw this map and I was like, yeah. So.
you come out this side and the environment feels like you're walking through a thick fog of magic. It's very... I wouldn't say tainted, but it feels like the magic is thick here. You guys want to do? Plants. Yeah, I bet you are. These are some nice plants around here. Yeah. Uh Yeah. Go for it. Roll me you gonna, how many plants? Is anyone gonna help her look for plants first of all? I mean, him look for plants. Yeah, I'll, I'll assist. Okay, um, so that means you can have advantage on your nature check. Uh, so give me a nature check. Also, what is your background? Let me see really. Background, background hippie? If so, you get a bonus. I was gonna say if your background was like something else, you might have got a bonus, but you know. All right, so you see this place, and you're like, "Wow, look at all these plants!" And then you roll a nature check to see if you could recognize anything around here. Look that nature, nice with a 19. You're like, "Hey, I kind of recognize these. These look familiar, but these look like a different species." All right, so you get four. D100 rolls. Okay. Nice. All right. So, you notice that no I'll tell you now that um, I made none of these plants dangerous, so nobody's going to blow up. So don't worry. Okay. So, you see some of the, like, um, fungus, or not fungus, um, oh, what's the word that I just used? Mold, kind of, um, growing on, around these trees, that bioluminescent, bioluminescent blue, but this time, instead of it being, like, in dirt, you could scrape it off the tree, so if anyone has, like, a vial that they could give you to scrape it off into, that'd be pretty cool. It's called blue cap mushrooms. Uh, the spores can be made into flour, but the fungus itself is inedible, but it makes for a really good light source. So, does anyone have a, a vial? Maybe they could let the druid borrow to scrape that in if he wanted to. Pardon? Uh, Ash needs a vial to scrape the, um, tree mold, the blue cap tree mold, into, so that... Oh, I, I got empty jugs. Oh, true. That's true, you do! <laughs> yep. Right, so you have some blue cap tree mold. It's an edible... By itself, it's an edible, but you can, um... Mix it with water, and it works like kind of like flour when you bake it when the heat is applied. All right. So you find some a really interesting plant. Um. It looks kind of like parsley is the best way I can describe this image that I'm imagining. Um, if crushed and rubbed onto meat, 
the meat never dries out regardless of how overcooked it is. Um, if used as a component for casting general repose, it doubles the duration. Um, one spring sells for 20 gold pieces and it's called lake leaf. Find it right over here on the edge. Uh, now, with that 67, uh, roll me a d6 for how many sprigs you have. Yeah, d6. Thanks for, for the resub. Alright, so you have five sprigs. Each one of those sprigs is worth 20 gold. Or, you know, meat use, whatever. Do you want me to, are you writing this down or do you want me to copy and paste them for you? Okay, so the first one I think you wrote down, right? Okay, the second one called... Um, there I go. All right, a thirty. Um, You actually find a small tree. Um, it's very interesting looking. Um, it's about five feet tall right now, so it's as tall as you, I believe. Um, but the bark has a golden sheen on it, kind of similar to the scales of uh, Max. Um, it grows on the riverbanks, um, and the sap can be used um as a sort of low quality uh medicine kind of like honey you know like our real life honey where it's supposed to be like you can put it in drinks or you can use it to make you feel better some people say they have like medicinal properties if you put it on wounds or whatever um and uh worth about five gold pieces for each for like some bark if you scrape it off but you have yourself a whole tree if you wanted you could plant that tree and continue to grow it anyone have a shovel uh pirate should have it yeah you also have mold earth too you guys are gonna mold some earth to get a lovely tree Well, here's the information for it. I can probably make a shovel. Yeah, so we, w one... One elven <laughs> willow <laughs> tree. Oh, no, here we Nice tree you got there. I don't know where you're gonna keep it. Exactly. It was a joke. It was a joke. I was like, they're gonna put it in the garden, obviously. All right. Wait, those plants that. You sure can. It matures in. Potatoes. I. You know, I don't know. You can try. All right, you find you find some really interesting reeds along 
the edge of the water. Where is it? Let me find it. Over here, where they start to sparkle. Um, they're very interesting looking, these reeds over here. They feel so soft and silk to the touch. Um, you found something called thistle down. Um, it is like reeds, um, but they are silken. They can be turned into silken fabric. Um, and turn to work into armor to make it easier to move in. Um, armor crafted with these increases its base AC by one, and it requires a DC 15 tailoring to uh, craft said initial armor, if you do. Each one of these reeds is worth about 250 gold. Uh, yeah. Um, And you have, oh no, you have, give me a 1d4. Where? Oh, you only managed to get one read. So. There you go. So there are your four plants for this evening. Pretty neat, huh? There's some neat flowers, right? If you'd rolled a uh, an a hundred. There was a really neat plant that was there. True. Have you seen the amount of money you guys have? I could tell All right, so you guys see water and you see the mushrooms. The mushrooms are giving off spores, but it doesn't seem to stop your breathing. But you feel like you're in a heavily irradiated magical area. It's not a negative effect, though. You just feel heavily caressed by magic wherever you walk. I don't know. Give me an intelligence check. Thank you, Google, for telling me it's raining right now as I listened to it rain about 20 minutes ago. Uh, seeing maybe if you remember us, maybe see if you've been here before in your years. I just wonder if we came through here. No, you didn't come through here, but you might have, you might have heard a story from, um, not college. I was trying to think of the other character that's associated to yours, and I can't remember the name. Kavoth. Uncle Kavoth maybe is, maybe it's done something. That's what your intelligence check is for. See if you can remember a story, maybe. Wow. So 21? Yeah. Alright, with a 21, you seem to recall Kavoth talking about um, a very magical land. Um, it was fruitful for adventures and finding unique items, but its magic can be twisted and turned multiple ways. Um, and the sense of like, there's just neutral magic here um, in the land, and sometimes if you channel good into it it could amplify um or if you channel negative into it it could amplify the negative sort of effects so pretty neat place
And yeah. Broken. Did you and uh, did you add that to my thing? I I couldn't. Oh, I didn't add it. Oh, mobile. Yeah. Oh, gamer. Well, right now I'm home. Well, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I'll have a laptop. Yeah, so you can add it right now while we're talking, because I'm not going to do it. I already, like, I have it in my head that you have it, so I don't have to put it down, but feel free to put it in your own shit. Did you write it down anywhere? Like, the details? Yeah. Um. <laughs> It's so it's a jar um that you're able to oh my god Anyway, the what the jar does is it's broken, and you can absorb spells with it um, when they're casted, uh, but you have to get it repaired. It can absorb up to a 5th level spell, and then use to power for your 5th level spell. It doesn't work right now. Okay. Alright. You guys want to go fishing? I know someone has a fishing hook. Do you though? I mean, you've got trees everywhere, you know? <laughs> just I'll probably make you a rod too. Just get him to make a metal rod, you know? Attach a string to fucking uh, the steel defender. And yeah, just, just put the... <laughs> Put the hook on the snake's tail and make him wiggle it <laughs> while it's in the water. That'll get the fishies' attention. Yeah. I'm now gonna I go fishing. Do. <laughs> you can borrow my hook. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That's funny. So, Snake, do you want to go steak fishing? See how that works out? Um, yeah, good luck. <laughs> that sounds like a no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. For science! <laughs> <laughs> One. All right. Okay. I found Very good. Nice. So, you're out there fishing. Give me a, give me a dex, dex save. Yep. See if you can hold on to the rod to really quickly yoink and snag that hook right into a fish's mouth. Put the red dot on my dude. I. Oh. oh, oof! Like the oof! You try and snag it, and maybe it's been a while. Maybe it's your first time, or maybe the pole might be too big for you. But you, that fish slips right out. No, no hook made there. I'm gonna cast out and try again. All right, 
cast out and give me another deck save. If you can try and hook that fish again. Oof. You missed the bigger fish, but you managed to snag it into the little fish's mouth that was chasing behind it. Alright, so you've got yourself a small fish on the line. Give me uh, two strength saves. Oh. Well, you almost lose it with the first one, but the second one you kind of reel it in and it sits in there. You gotta give me, give me one more strength save. Nice, you really, you finally got the grip of the pole and you've got the weight to and you pull it out the water and it's wiggling all over the line and it's like, let me go! Wiggling, you know how they do. And you have a very shiny scaled fish. The rainbow fin tuna. You can turn it into soup. The three are just having a blast, cooking flowers, fishing. <laughs> I mean, what else are you guys doing? Look! I caught a fish. Can I borrow another jug? Do you want to put the fish in there? Yeah. Need some water uh, to I keep could... your fishy alive. You want to keep it uh, keeping alive, or, can, or are we gonna eat it? I mean, it's got rainbow scales. A rainbow scale fish, but you sure can inspect it. Inspect the fishy. It's a rainbow fin tuna. Yeah. Nice! <laughs> nice! You invest it. You see the fish, the fish sees you, and you see the fish seeing you. You're just like, mm hmm. You've wild shaped your eyes into bird, and you see him. And, uh, <laughs> the fish is startled. Uh, you investigate the fish, and you notice that the fish, uh, seems healthy and, you know, well-kept. It doesn't seem poisoned or anything like that, and its scales seem in good condition. Um, you might be able to use those as some sort of jewelry accessory uh, if you, uh, scrape the scales off. But outside of that, nothing really unique about the fish to you. Or nothing that stands out. Just a tasty fish. And water to keep it fresh. All right. What do you think? If it puts up um, stuff in the bag of holding, doesn't the? Uh, it does. It does. Yeah, it does. Okay, so it's not like a pause. No. Well, here's another jug for uh, your fish. Yay. And I'll toss you a jug. Mm. Bunch of trees. Uh, give me a perception check. What kind of critters are you looking for? Bunnies, rabbits, water elementals, nagas. Nereids. What are we looking for? Koi fish. 
Uh, sharks. They say there was nifty stuff. Oh, if only you knew what Uncle Kavoth considered nifty. What, you talking to me? Yeah. Yeah, the druid wanted to know if your Uncle Kavoth uh, mentioned any noteworthy, perhaps unique animals that they can find. Yeah. Uh, oh. Magic works a little. Uh, our magic can work different. First effect. Uh, things can be inside or or not work correctly. If I remember. I'll uh. I kind of, I'll jump off the steel defender and walk to the side, and I'll cast um, poison spray. Which way? Uh, to to the right, away from the group. Okay. Um, yeah, does poison spray let you uproll it? Uh... I don't think it does. Um, no, nah, it doesn't. It goes based off your level. Um, you notice that your poison spray fucking murders that whole grass in front of you. Like, really murders it compared to what you're used to. Let's think. What did the poor grass do to you? Oh, and now, it was just... and now every blade of grass is angry. Roll initiative. Um, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, it, it was just um, a scientific test. Oh, if it seems uh, more potent, uh, and I'll kind of look down at the grass. Uh, so we should be careful with our magic here. Listen, I just said that. <laughs> yeah, but you said it can make it. Stronger, weaker, you know, different effects. So, all I'm saying is, is... If I were to cast plant growth... Go ahead. <laughs> Find out what happens. <laughs> but, with a machete, instead of, like, actual combat. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll make you guys work your way out, <laughs> and then we'll get a good harvest. <laughs> I'll get a good harvest. Alright, well. You caught a fish, you got some plant. You're a god now. Hmm. I'll, I'll take that stone out. Is it flat, like... Uh, I'm so glad you did. Sorry, right. I'm not I was wondering when you'd do that. Kind of like when he said, "Like go kill a god." I had like a little light bulb. Like, oh, oh yeah, might as well. Yeah. So should check. Um, I asked you at one point to pull it out. Right? I did, but I, it wasn't glowing in that area. This one is glowing. Dude, what color did I tell you that hat was again? Was it? Was it green for you? Or was it blue? I can't remember. I don't remember what color. Color doesn't really matter, but it's glowing a color. Uh, Druin, Druin was orange. It's glowing orange. Or? Mm -hmm. It must be dream magic. Yeah, I'll pinch myself.
Fucking to you, Matt. It's a dream. I don't know what you're talking about. I like this place. Probably old now. Um, you guys can continue on the path. Doesn't seem yep. dangerous. You'll see, see some bunnies over here. The bunnies are purple, but outside of that, nothing really crazy. You could get the bunnies and eat them. You could also use that new meat seasoning that you guys just got on them too. Is it still rot? <laughs> no. Yeah. <clears throat> you guys are gonna start out killing gods and then by like episode 8 you guys are gonna like find a city and open up a fucking restaurant <laughs> yeah didn't go hunt through the gods no not yet we'll have our own I may have a cauldron of fucking whatever the fuck it's called. You've got a garden of infinite snack, like, delicious dishes. You've got a library, too, where you can keep all your cookbooks. And now you have a preservative for meat. We'll have our own health kitchen. Mm-hmm. So, alright, so we're slowly making our way forward. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think one of the artificers has insert tool here. To... Yeah. Whatever tool you want. Uh, how, how's this water looking here? It, it's like very shallow. It's about ankle deep. Alright, so it's like neck deep for me. Got it. <laughs> well? Oh, I'm gonna try to stay on top of my still defender. I think you're tall. Mm, nope. Nope, no shiny pebbles. Okay. The pebbles are nice and smooth, though, but not shiny. I broke it off. <laughs> this stuff keeps an eye on you. Make sure nothing. Surprise! Attacking the mushrooms. Just kidding. Oh, these are actual um, giant mushrooms. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Huh. Giant mushrooms. Go left or right here again. Yeah. You guys want to go left? You guys want to go right? Hmm. Uh, what did we do last time? Left? Or was it right? Right. Okay. I might as well just keep going right. Uh, everyone, give me a nature check really quick. What what Does what's, I what's have you guidance on? Yeah, did you oh you didn't add your thing to have guidance. And um, you should have bonuses to your your nature. Yeah. How come that's... What? 
She was. I'm rolling zero. Yeah. Yeah. But I should have guidance. Oh, you didn't have any bonus to it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you have to go to your um, settings. All right. Well, you guys know through some nature checks that these are giant mushrooms, and you can cut off pieces of these giant mushrooms and eat them kind of like you do like uh, meat. Zoop doesn't know shit. So. Well, these mushrooms are uh, edible. You guys interested in having some? Do they taste good? Because there's a difference between being edible and tasting good. True. Uh, yeah, True. They, they taste like meat. Mushrooms on it? But no, it was just literally a mushroom. It's a burger. It was not good. <laughs> I'm too their own. Personally, I'm not a fan of them either, but, you know, just so you know, they taste like meat and you guys can eat them. Okay, we're going. Yeah, we'll, we're going right. <clears throat> Make me a perception check, um, to load in. Oh. Seagrass. That's a nice tree. It's a nice tree. You notice that nice tree. It had some really nice wood bark, and you're like, damn. That'd be really good to have in a wand. You sure did. Or did you? As you guys walk through, it opens up into a lot more of a sort of marshy area. This is the best map I could find to kind of do marshy stuff. <clears throat> but yeah, so now it opens up into like a marshy wetland area out of here. Uh, so what are you guys doing? We're just gonna keep going along. Um. Uh. That's a please wait, I'm eating my chicken wing. I'm sorry. Pretty? Four day day? <laughs> Alright, so no man nature check. Nice. That tree is A blue leaf tree um it's a durable tree with gleaming blue leaves um it reaches about 40 feet in height and it's bendable 
Um, if you crush the leaves, it yields a vivid blue dye. And if you burn the wood, it makes blue flames. <clears throat> and it can be fashioned into wood armor. And... Um... A nice set of armor crafted with this wood ranges up to uh, 300 gold in price. Oh, this is the armor that the druid can wear too, right? It sure is. Um, is that a uniform? Yes, it is a unicorn, but it's because I like unicorns. So I found a map with a unicorn. Alright, are you looking at the spiky plants? Alright. Splish splash, you're in the water. Alright. The water feels cool to the touch. Um, and fresh. Are you taking a sip of it? Yeah. It's crisp and delightful. Like, you've had mountain. Crispy. You've had, like, fresh mountain water, right? It's like that. Do the same thing. Yes. Water. Zoop now has the wet capability trait. <laughs> what are you guys doing back there, Druid and Snack? Plants. Alright. I'm just following the path. But we don't really see a unicorn over there, do we? It's just <laughs> there. <clears throat> <laughs> it's there. <laughs> I don't even see it. Scroll up. It's right here. I went and looked for a map that had a hidden unicorn. Or, well, not hidden. It might just be a horse. Or it could be a unicorn. You might be able to. Speak with animals. Doesn't matter, our unicorn has like a fucking intelligence of what again? Intelligence, the max. The unicorn has a. No, like you can actually. Yeah, the unicorn has an end of an 11. Yep. Their intelligence, the max. Like the unicorn is actually like super intelligent. It's up here. Martyrs and <clears throat> It's 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 a well spoken unicorn. No, please. He just told me I can do it. Strixhaven is just Hogwarts. Change my mind. Uh, it's a very accurate statement. False. Oh. Sure is. That's a video record. All right. <clears throat> Roll me talk to the unicorn. An intelligence IRL to talk to the unicorn? I don't know. Girl. You have a GM? <laughs> I don't know. How are you going to talk to the unicorn? I don't... I can tell you what you have to do. <laughs> Hello, unicorn. Understand me. What language are you speaking in? Does not pay attention to you. Try. Harvest. Nope. Nothing there either. Elvis? Ah, now it pays attention. 
I looks up at you curiously and go and goes um yes what can I help you with for the record look how majestic it is yeah yeah <clears throat> my last game my last game someone tried to ride the unicorn in my group wonder who that was not dead I'm not dead right the unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> wonder who that was war fury everybody else was, was afraid nah not my ninja turtle mounting a unicorn yeah. He goes, what do you- Unicorns are terrifying. <laughs> yeah, the unicorns are actually terrifying. And he like, saunters over to you and goes, <sighs> all horse noise and the like. And uh, he goes, um, what can I help you with, the young one? <laughs> well, you're in the swamps of Oceanus. And you see him kind of toss his head towards the direction where you guys came, and he goes, That's where the river is. Most of us live along the river. Um. Well, the horse or the unicorn kind of looks around. Uh, one of its horns brushes the pink tree next to it, and you notice, like, the leaves fall off kind of like cherry petals. Um, he goes, well, young one, um, what is unique to me may not be unique to you, or what is unique to you may not be unique to me, for this is my home, so I am used to all this. What mayhaps would you look for if you were looking for something noteworthy or unique? Get back to you on that. Yes, go see counsel from your friends. And he kind of tosses his hair back and like, you know, the the emo, like, you know, the Justin Bieber hairstyle toss. He tosses his mane and goes back to grazing on the wet grass. Nice. It was all in your head, by the way. Unicorns speak telepathically. We well, really spoke to you. Got any ideas on what we should ask it? Maybe he, maybe he knows where the god is. <clears throat> oh yeah, that could. Uh, ask if there. Or just. Yeah, just 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 ask if they're uh we're looking for god. Greetings, young one. Have you counseled with your friends? Yes, yes. I'm wondering where... where a god was. We're looking for a god. Well, that depends. I am a god to some people for my uniqueness, but to others, I am just but a common horse. Are you perhaps looking for a humanoid god? Kind of like you? I see his like, horn gesture to the friends over on the bridge. Yes. <laughs> Guys, should we ask about the spider daddies?
Hi, Dave. Yeah, how are ask, you? Him, ask him if he knows um, Elodin's dads. Okay. Well, Elodin's dads. It's the pale boy back there. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Jesus Christ. A unicorn shakes his head and goes, No, I do not know that young one just as much as I know you. But, um, he pauses, and he goes, this humanoid god, hmm, let me graze a bit and see if I remember. In one's old age, the grass truly does reinvigorate oneself. Alright, I need to inspect the grass. <laughs> <laughs> So she's eating grass? Are you okay? He said, grass invigorates oneself. <laughs> what does? He's a horse? He's hungry? What do you want? <laughs> Special grass. You want to investigate it? Yes. Alright, roll me a nature check. Oh, shit. <clears throat> And roll me a knowledge arcana. I'll also assist. You sure you don't want to roll the arcana? Oh, I can do that kinda. Yeah. There you go. Nice! You understand the regenerative property, and then you understand what the grass is. So, with your wonder twin hours activated um you find some grass <clears throat> and you smoke it um it's a special type of grass known as arca's grass Um, it's generally used in horse feed. Um, uh, mounts and other rideable animals that are fed this grass have their movement speed increased to 70 feet per round. Or, and um, eating um, and eating this grass yourself gives you a temporary bonus of plus two dex and plus two con and plus two on animal and handle animal and if you're training an animal it can be trained in half the time as normal if you're feeding them this grass interesting i'm, I'm gonna start grabbing handfuls of grass jesus christ <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Growth or something. Like, just, plant growth? just yeah. throw it in the garden. You'll figure it out later, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Alone, are you still Grass. sitting in the water? I said, are you still sitting in the water? All right. You feel a little tingly. From the water. It's not a bad thing, but you feel a little tingly. You feel a little, a little charged. <laughs> Jesus yep. Christ. 
Your <laughs> butthole tickles. I don't know what niacin is, to be honest with you. Is that? Uh, oh. It, like, yeah. Increases like your like. Yeah. Tingly. Yes. Something similar to that. Yeah. You feel like you're. You're ready to go. Like you're just like, let's go, dude. I haven't felt this good since I was like 16. Should bottle that up and bring it back to Uncle Kavoth. But yeah, feel a little tingly. Water doesn't seem to hurt you or anything, you just feel charged. You see them shoveling grass. See the fucking unicorn eating it and you're in the tingly water. <laughs> oh, is that a, a magical property? It casts wet? Yep, how about her? Who knows? Maybe the water is what gives the grass the magical properties. Or maybe the grass, or maybe the grass gives the water the magical properties. Mm. Yeah. I hope you like casting shape. I hope you like casting shape earth because you guys are gonna be putting a pond in and it's gonna have a rainbow fish and this grass around it. At a restaurant. <laughs> Yeah, at a restaurant, and you just open your bag, and it only serves small creatures. Yeah. Imagine. So, after a few minutes, you guys are picking up the grass and putting it in, and see the unicorn just chomping away, going ham sandwich on the grass. It grows in size one. Yeah. Anyone notice anything different? Um, he, he comes up to you now and he is about trying to think of horses how they usually are. About seven feet, seven and a half feet off the ground now. He's tall. He bends his head down and goes, Little one, I think I remember this, this, uh, humanoid you speak of. I don't know if he is a god, but he is strange to my world. He took residence in a local forest uh, not not too far away but away from this magic he said he didn't want to be tainted by it I, I, I don't know he wished to be with his more earthen roots um hmm. but he's still white hair It was indeed a man, but no, he did not have white hair. You also hear the unicorn speak to you in your head if you ask that question out loud. The unicorn tosses its head in a general direction uh, known as... <clears throat> This way. Word. What? Eastward. Yep. So, 
He says, uh, this way, this way kind of area, like, over here somewhere. That's where he gestures his head and he goes, <laughs> and like, tosses his head in that direction. He says, somewhere towards there. He didn't, he didn't seem to like the grass or the berries too much here. Said him, said it made him feel uneasy and jittery. And you see him, like, bite, like, a fruit off one of the nearby trees. Um, and he goes, but I guess that's what happens when you don't exist in magic like this. And he goes back to grazing on the grass. It might not be. <laughs> nice. All right. So, <clears> hmm. <throat> <clears throat> It is a apple tree, but these are unique apples. Um, you have the good berry spell, right? When you like caress one of these apples with your hand, the magic feels familiar, like it would be when you would cast your good berry, but it feels amplified. It's a juiced up good berry. Call it like a healing apple tree. I don't know. Does that make it a great berry? It's a <laughs> it's an it's it's an amaza berry. The tree looks very heavily laden with fruit. The unicorn takes another one off the tree and uh, tosses it down and spears it on his horn and offers it to you. I don't know. Oh, but I didn't find out. The unicorn's eating them all. He's like seven, eight feet. He's like, oh. Let's open it up. You notice there are the many seeds inside. There's seeds everywhere inside. Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, you notice the unicorn kind of goes off into the bush as he's wandering and meandering and kind of sort of disappears into the trees over there. I miss you, unicorn. You hear him echo in his head. Goodbye, young one. Be safe. All right, what are you guys doing? I'm taking a bite of the apple. You take a bite of the apple, and that apple is delicious. It is, I don't know, do you like red apples or green apples? So you're more of a sweet versus a sour? It tastes delicious. It is juicy. A little bit of the juice runs down, like, the right side of your lip. It gets a little in that beard of yours. Um, but it is crunchy it is a crisp apple and it is sweet like a like a peach but it's an apple so that kind of might weird you out a little bit but it's crisp and delicious you have five temporary hit points You feel tingly. That's right. Can I go fishing? Absolutely.
water you're sitting in. <laughs> There's another bridge if you want to fish from, too. Yeah. <laughs> There's a couple bridges you can fish off. <laughs> Catch out of you. All right. Give what do you have Mama's phone for? You're good. Give me a solid dex reflex. Dex save. Give that reflex to just yeet. You throw it out there this time, and you see a fish. You you still have your Hawkeye's wild shape on. You see the fish, and you go nero. And you hook it right there in its mouth, and this is a, uh, this is looking like a little bit of a bigger fish. Give me a strength save. Oof! You notice when you tug, this is a real heavy fish. This might be a lot bigger than what you're used to. You're gonna need to pull a little bit harder for that. Give it another strength save. Nice. You're like, I got this. You plant your feet flat on the ground of that bridge, and you give it a good yank. And it comes a little closer, and you see the splash it kind of makes where it falls back in the water. This looks like a large fish. Uh, give it one more tug. Are you going to help her, Max? Or him? Are you going to help uh, him? Max was looking at the bridge. Yeah, Max. If you're looking at the bridge, you're watching the druid fish. Max was looking at the bridge. Oh, it's made of a unique stone. Oh. There is gems in it. Well, Max is not helping the druid. Max is prime. <laughs> All right. Uh, is the steel defender help gonna help the help the druid fish? Yeah. All right. Make your strength save with advantage to pull that large fish out the water. Not you, I meant the druid, but yeah. Nice! Black. With that, you manage to get you manage to pull a d100 out. Let's see what fish you get. Nice. You manage to pull out a large um, where is it? Fifteen. A oh, that's interesting fish. A thunderfish. These large sol solitary fish uh, can be found in small schools of four to five, and they look similar to a puffer fish. Um, it stains generally around the surface where it can easily gulp in large amounts of air. Um, when threatened, it will constrict and cause a compressive explosion, which causes a thunder wave-like effect underwater. They are good for eating and the meat is very hearty. You got yourself a thunderfish. All right, you're prying the gems out of the bridge. Is that what you're doing? Yep. I look at the bridge too. Oh yeah, for sure. Which part of the bridge are you looking at? Floor part. All right. All right. The floor looks kind of unique. Um, you notice there are purple, teal, and blue gems of different sizes. Uh, Max. And the stone seems to have kind of like 
a purple sheen over it. Okay. Um, if you wipe away the purple sheen, it feels as though it's like coalesced energy into the form of dust. Um, we can get to the gems. Roll me a 1d4. You get two purple gems, a large blue gem, and a small teal gem. So one small teal, two medium-sized purple. And from your initial escapades, you get one large blue. Um, those in total are worth 628 gold. So you could either add the gold cost, you can either just add the gold or you could add the gems, whichever you want. Um, all right. So you see this, like, it's kind of like, um, you know, like when you put glitter on the ground, it kind of looks like that, but when you pick it up, it feels like energy, like leftover residue energy, just all over the bridge. You sure can. You caress yeah. your hands along the stone. Kind of uh, lick your lips a little. You kind of kiss the stone. See if you could taste. See if it has a distinct stone flavor. Maybe. Yeah, tongue punch it. Yeah, you kiss the bridge. And, um... Mm -hmm. You bite into one of the gems on the bridge, and you're like, Oh! I've tasted this kind of gem before. And, um, the gem kind of... <laughs> the gem kind of crumbles into, like, a powder when you bite into it. And, uh, you know that this is some pretty... Pretty unique stonework here. I don't know if they have these in here. Why, Steve? Like, she bites. Oh, she yeah. Bite yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh. Can I do, uh, can I attack on that, uh, the residue from the, the powder? Can you what? Uh, I was just so we, like, she bit into it, and then they turned into, like, powder, right? Mm hmm can I, can I do, like, an arcana check on it? Yeah, for sure. So you go up to... Yeah, yeah, it's something you swipe it off. <laughs> yeah, I want to check Very that romantic. Out. With that arcana check, you know that, that uh those were some raw magic gems. Hmm. It was energy shaped into the form of a gem to either extenuate, decorate, or empower something that was either here used to be here, or is still here. Um, imagine like a fey dwarf, like a dwarf, but like, fey. I, there's yeah, not yeah. an actual, like, race that I can give you, but, you know. So, I'm gonna take out this, like, I'm, I'm gonna take out, like, this little bag. Oh dear. And then I'm gonna take out, I'm gonna take some of these stones here. Right, I'm gonna like at least take a few of them. There's, I'm gonna use the, there's I'm gonna none. Use, like, the butt of my knife. There's none there's left. None left. Nope. Max took four that he was managed. He was able to get okay, from well, the bridge. Okay, to this bridge. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a few. All right. Do I feel tingly? Was I stoned? Um, you do feel tingly. Um. Uh, I roll me a. Uh, Roll me a con save. Okay. Now roll me a deck save. Um. 
You breathed in a little bit of the dust, uh, but you didn't get too much of it because when it crumbled, it like poofed up and you're like, woo, hold on. So you snorted or inhaled a little bit of it. So you feel a slight high. You have, um, your vision around you is, um, crisper than usual. You can hear sounds further away and you can see things. You have advantage on perception checks for the next eight hours. I'm going to take a few of those. I'm going to crunch I'm going to use the butt of my sword. I'm going to crunch them up. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to slide them into my little bag here. Okay. Imagine, imagine using like, you know, maybe a mortar and a pestle. Like civilized people to crush things up. You guys are a bunch of fucking crack dealers with how you yeah, handle. Exactly. You guys are a bunch of crack dealers with how you handle magic, bro. Jesus Christ. Roll me so a D6. Like back of magic cocaine. Uh, why why is it there's always if it's if it's not fucking it's not Max snorting cocaine. It's gonna be you now. Great. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You get one gem. You get one gem, and it's a medium blue gem. But it's all you manage to get. In your excitement, you manage to crush them up, and you drop powder all over the ground, and you kind of fuck it up. But you only get, like, one medium blue gem worth. The equivalent of that is 87 gold. You notice okay, that the so gems like, are... Uh, yeah, it has a monetary value. And it also has, like, a like a magical value. So, neither take the 87 gold, or you can take the gem. Hello, Odin, what are you doing? After you're watching... This white... You're watching a, uh, the the druid make out with the bridge. You've got Max carving out the gems. You've got Snake over there fucking carving gems out of the woodwork or out of the stonework. What are you making of all this? <laughs> yeah, maybe you should get a move on, get him out of just here. A, just a little weak. Yeah. yeah. But there's one. There I sure is. And it's a longer bridge, too. Oh. Alright. So we're moving over to the other bridge. I'm change my name to Walter White. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> All right. So, we're at the next bridge. He is doing. Um, getting more cocaine. Yeah. Someone needs that. So, um, you, as a group, find seven gems. Um, Three are large and four are small. Um, the three of you, uh, Max, Ash, and Hush, and your sealed defender, all make me perception checks. You know, even with advantage, you still suck. No offense. That was like, that was crazy. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Ooh! 
What are those rolls? <laughs> At least you're getting all the fucking ones out of the way now before we get into maybe combat, right? That's the only way to look at it. That's the copium there. All right, so your still defender notices uh, something different as you get um, over here as you're prying the gems out. Uh, your steel defender notices you notice an orange gem um, on the post right here. Ooh, interesting. So I'll, I'll go up to it and uh, inspect it. Investigation. Investigation. Um, while I'm doing that, I'm like, uh, I'm like, Ash, come, come look at this with me. Advantage. Are you proficient in investigation? Yep. And I'm an Ash. Oh. But it's it's like a gem, right? So she has like stone. Uh, you're only like a twenty six anyway. Um, this gem feels different. It feels different when you rub your hand across it to kind of wipe off the the latent energy dust. Feels warm. Okay. So, so it just feels warm. Yeah, that's all you can tell right now. Okay, can I roll our arcana to see anything else from it, or you sure can. I look deep into the gem. You look deep into the gems. And you find you <coughs> Oh shit, let's see. Roll me a 1d10. Oh, that's fun. I like that. <laughs> that's gonna be fun. I can't wait to see that used. Um, you kind of recognize this stone? Um, it looks like one that you're familiar with. Um... But you haven't seen it up close before. You recognize it because you've seen something similar colored in the lab that you were kept in. Oh, okay. Um, Interesting. Yep. This is okay. called... I'll tell you what it's called. Um, so you can write it down, but you and character don't necessarily know the purpose of it, but you've seen it used before. Um, it's called a wildfire stone. Um, when it's used, um, random wild magic surges occur um, within a 30 foot radius of the gym. Yep. So. Buy it out. Put it in my bag. Nice. Alright. Aside of that, there's nothing really exciting left here. Okay. Somebody say next map. It looks like the Eladin's. Yeah. <laughs> Eladin's already fighting the boss. Pull the aggro. 
No. I'm fucking. All right. So. Um. All right. You guys come out. As you walk further through, you realize. Wait. No. Is it? Uh, whatever. I don't care. This side. Um, as you guys notice, um, you walk further through following what it says, it turns into a more dense natural forest. This is something that you'd probably be more used to, Ash, and feel more comfortable for you. The, um, the, like, feeling of magic, like, not necessarily suffocating you, but, like, enveloping you tends to fade as you walk further. Um, you notice the further away that you get, um, like, residual dust kind of falls off you. Um, and... Uh, because you were in there for like a couple hours or so, I'll say um, all of you have um, plus one to all your attacks for uh, till the next short rest. Um, if you cast magic, you have plus one to your attack um, as your sort of skin has absorbed the latent magic in the air. Um, nice. Yeah. But finally you walk away and it starts to feel like fresh air if you will and uh druid this tends to feel more comfortable towards your nature side for you maybe but uh snack you also feel comfortable here it's maybe it's not home but it's close enough before you became sentient <laughs> before you became in a cage nice all right so what are you guys gonna do Nice. See if there's stuff around. There's some stuff around, but let me tell you, nothing here looks harvestable. This stuff looks thick. There's Welcome. A house over there. That's a nice drawing of a house. Wrong map, though. The house is like two maps away. Don't worry. What? This is a gingerbread house. Yeah, what it's a. Uh, like a gingerbread house? Yeah, it's, it should be. It's it's a hag's house. Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> That's not really cow. I would like to have a plus one to my ability score. Dude, maybe. <laughs> yes, uh, you. Can... <laughs> nope. Oh yeah. Pull our hair. Eater, bowler, cooker. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, so you guys want to RP a little bit, or because this map is a lot more dangerous than what you've been. Roll me perceptions, or maybe it's not. We'll see if you notice. Perception. Nope. 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 Go away! You two notice. Uh, you notice that these vines have definitely creeped out further. As one of the vines slithers around. One of the vines slithers around as you say this. Zoop can's foot. Up here. <laughs> I <would have> called... <laughs> uh... Burn oh, the yeah. forest down. Zoop saw that shit. Did he? What did he roll? 20. Oh, nice. He saw it, and it wrapped around his leg, and then he stomped it with his other foot, and it broke off the vine, and he kicked the vine away.
What, what are you guys kicking at? What's 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 happening? Vines. <laughs> what vines? Anatomy of a snake. Oh, I, I, I'm so used to just like blocking your, blocking you out when you speak. Yeah, you know what I say. Sorry, what was that? Yeah, the others have noticed too. It's kind of. <laughs> and pause. You want to dance for me, snack? <laughs> and pause. Perception check. No, 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 no. No. And I can't pitch on perception checks. Ah, uh, that's right. Because I sniffed some stuff. You're the only one who doesn't get surprised. Oh, my, I mean, my silver fighter does not get surprised. Get surprised. I literally called it. Yeah, but it's not the vines that are attacking you guys, though. It's the things that control the vines. Alright, so... Yeah, you just don't focus on the vines, you don't pay attention to the uh, giant tree ant. Okay, <laughs> as long as it doesn't attack me. Yeah, it, it doesn't. It doesn't attack you, the vines, at all. Um... One is max, two is... Drew oh, you can't be surprised. So two is snack. Can your still defender be surprised? Nope. Uh, three is a load, uh, load in, and four is zoop. Do I roll? Oh, yeah, you guys will. Um, so All right, so out of the bushes fly some arrow shots. Um, I forget how I roll as a GM, so where you guys can't see. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Uh, yeah, they'll use that. Fantastic. Um, so the first one's gonna hit you, Max. Does a twenty six hit you? Yes, it does. You will take 9 piercing and 21 psychic. And... Guys, now... There's some crazy... Nonsense going on here. Okay, the next one is on Snek. Does a 20 hit you, Snack? Nope. Alright. And last but not least, a load in. Does a 22 hit you? Yep. You will take 5 piercing and 24 psychic. I will now roll their initiatives. I hate how I spread them out, but it works. All right. Top of the hour, Max. What are you doing? Nice. 
Which one are you poking? Alright, so how much damage does it take? 7, 18... Very nice. Very good. So 25? Mm -hmm. Nice. Good chunk to it. Serpent, what are you doing? Um. I rolled really well on those. Like 15 and 19. Uh, it was... Does 16 hit? I just said 23 hit? 23? Yes. 8 piercing. Nice. The 16 does not hit. Yep. DFT. Loden, what are you doing? Loden? All right. Uh, yep. Nice and small. Very, very compact. Uh. Hang out. Yep. So he will have to make a... Alright, on his turn. Uh, I think he does it now. Um, the target must make an intelligence saving throw. Yep, okay. Saves. Yeah, uh, damn, I rolled a 19. You know, silver barbs it. Nice. Uh, and I'm gonna... <laughs> then I'm gonna go... Okay. Alright, so this one's going to move up here. He's gonna go for... Zoop! Takes us 12 damage because he moved! Yeah! <laughs> so excited. That's right, he sure does. It happened this campaign. <laughs> it, it's true. <laughs> it is it's true. <laughs> um, got multi attack. Uh, so this might hurt Zoop. Do we chat? Do we two handed or do we one handed? Do we do we two handed? Oh man, these things are. We Chad says two hands, so one, two. Good for him. He didn't get hit. Zoop, it's your turn. The first one hits him. Oh yeah, he's gonna nineteen, doesn't he? All right, he takes twenty five psychic and nine slashing. The fire then. Uh, he has a sh you don't have a shield out. Yeah, he's got a two-hander. Uh, <laughs> I was like, that's not... He only took, like, 30... 34 damage. And then you have, like... Uh, Wait, why? We didn't run. Oh. Uh, uh, so I healed him up. Oh, uh, that sucks for him. I... Alright. It is his turn.
take 15 minutes to do his turn. And second wind. Drop. Nice. Nice little slip. Nice little, nice little slip of HP. Nice. Oh, I forgot. I got two attacks now. Oh. Oh. I mean, you can roll your second one. The second one will crit. Yeah, you do. Because he's right here. Uh, yeah. No giants might damage. Nineteen. I mean, you could great weapon if you want. What's the damage for the great weapon? Ten. Okay. So nineteen. All right, only one hit. Very good. Anything else? Soup. All right. That's it. This. What can they do? What can you do? Oh my god, this is my favorite part. Everyone make me up. Wisdom save. Everyone within 60 feet. That's everyone. Oh no. Oh nice. Oh no. Nice. Oh no. Okay. I use luck point. I use luck point. Yeah, very nice. Okay, so Max save. Max failed the save and is the first like which one is which? It was the first the first wisdom save with the plus one is that zoops. Okay, so Max and Zoop fail, everyone else passes. Um Max and Zoop um, you are charmed. Um, the rest of you are immune to this now for 24 hours. So you are charmed by this one. So I'll use the, the blue dot. So you guys are friendly towards the blue dot. All right, that's that's its turn. All right, this one's gonna give you what's good. Uh, it's going to attack you, Snack, two-handed yeah. style. Fuck. Bonk. I'll flip him off. I don't think that does very well. It tried. Ash, what are you doing? Weapons metal. Uh, yeah? That's cheap metal. Okay. First time we can't fire, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> nice, so which one? One in front of Zoop Can. Alright, how does that work? Uh, choose a manufacturer such as a metal weapon or suit heavy armor. You can cause any creature in physical taunt takes 2d8 fire damage you cast a spell until the spell ends. You can use a bonus action on each subsequent turns to make it where an object takes damage. The creature must be on a constitution saving throw or drop the object. Okay, so DC 14. So it's going to take 8 fire damage. Nice. It's got to make a con save, DC 14. Nice, I hope it does. Ooh, wait, hold on. It has, 
It has magical resistance. So it saves. But it does take the fire damage. But it's holding that red hot weapon in its hand and that's kind of scary. Anything else, Ash? Okay. Yeah, if it's cure wounds, it's touch. You would have to use a bonus. You'd have to use healing word because that's the only thing you can do because you already casted heat metal. Ow, me. Okay. Yeah, or your other uh, bonus one. Yeah, your your, your court, the spirit of the court, or whatever. Oh yeah, my bomb. Yeah, your lip bomb. Let's do the... yeah. Give Zoop Move some chapstick. This. Give that man some chapstick. Nice. All right. Oh, I forgot you had that. Oh, that's interesting. Uh oh. You know. I forgot too. We all, we all have that plus one to attack. Yeah, you do. From the. Remember from the essence that I told you because you guys absorbed some in your skin because you were in the. And they're long enough, all of you have plus one to your attack. Yeah. I've counted that in for you. Um. If only if I had used Summer, a load in. Or Summer, um, Eladrin, instead of Spring. That would have been an interesting concept. That would have caused, that I would have probably rolled to see if they would have continued fighting you guys. Because they would recognize that you're of the summer court and they wouldn't have been mad. But these are spring. Because that's what happens when you roll a d4 and it lands on one. No, yeah. she's healing Zoop. Yeah. So, I should I use? Well, I'll use three. Alright. Nice, 3d6 and 3 temporary hit points. Roll them. 7 HP um. and 3 temporary hit points. Nice, and his lips are no longer chapped. At the turn. Alright. Max, what are you doing? Nice. With advantage. Yes. Nice. Nice. Okay. So, 18. 25. Yeah. 25 and then 7 if he moves. Yep. All right. Okay. Serpent, what are you doing? Serpent smashed. Bonk. 21? That's 22. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nice. That'll hit Five. as well. Nine. Nice. Uh, six. <laughs> nope. Okay, EOT. Nice. A load in. Alright. When are you hexing? Alright. Okay. It's hexed. Okay. I'll put a. What color do you want? Purple? Alright, he's hexed.
Nice. Um, neither of those hit. That's true. Anything else? Alright. It's gonna hit Zoop. Two hand. Nope, it didn't. Nice. Zoop. Uh, yeah. What is it? A si it's I rolled the con save for it already. But it's gonna take six more damage because it's still holding it. Which means that's Yep. Today is, isn't it? Uh, no, it's- that's- her thing was- when she rolled it, that was the damage that I rolled. Con save! Got it, magical resistance, so it saves. Noob does not have advantage, though. Cause... He's not, but he still goes back. Alright. Nineteen. First one will hit, second one will not. Nice. Very good. Oh wait, yeah, superior. Yeah, he's he's he has one. What do you take? Probably took one level in fighter. I don't know. Cost for like when he has AC, I guess. I don't know. Alright. Okay. This one is going to notice that everyone's hurt except for the snack. And he is going to oh, wait. You're charmed by oh, this one, not the other one. Oh. oh, so I'm just Yeah. But because you're friendly to that one, you're immune to the other ones. Like everyone's immune now at this point by that. I just want to see who I could grab. Um, okay, so... <laughs> Look at this, give me a second. Oh! <laughs> Is that really your intelligence score? Snacks! Snacks intelligence score. What is your intelligence score? Did I see that right? Are you sure? That oh, yeah, I have an 18. Yeah. Is it your wisdom that's a four? Like, what did I see? Uh, oh, there was a modifier of an 18. Okay. I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw, Snack. Oof. Even with your magical resistance, oof. Yeah, still right. I, I failed almost all my saves. <laughs> Damn. Um, introduced you to some Tasha's hideous laughter. Just for the range check. It's in range. Um, you are prone and incapacitated and. Unable to stand up for the duration. Each time it, you take damage, you can make another wisdom saving throw. You you have advantage. All right, so that's I'm work. I'm like I'm on top your, of the defender. Yeah, you're 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 prone though, so the melee attacks have advantage on you. But you're still defender as its reaction. Um can give disadvantage so they become straight rolls. Right? Yeah. But I'm, I'm thinking, like, if I'm sitting in the, in the saddle, in the prone, 
you're still prone. You're not taking my advantage away from me. You're I, slumped over. You're slumped yeah, over slumped, in this atom. Okay, there you go. That makes sense. Yep. Because you're slumped. laughing so hard. Tip. Okay. And that's the end of his turn. All right. Which brings us to this one's turn. What an interesting set of events. Does a 19 hit you? I don't, let me see what your AC is. Your AC at 21? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, nope. You're still laughing, you didn't get hit. Ash, what are you doing? A minute. One minute. Yep. I'm gonna cast the spell magic. Can you hear me what that does? You have the spell. Uh, yeah, we're level six now. Yeah, you guys are level six. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, we have the spell magic? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can still magic on it. You uh, feel the crest of the druid s fix you and kind of smack you on your nose. And uh, you kind of get startled oh, and you're cool. no longer laughing. You write oh, yourself no. back oh. up in the saddle. Nice. I wept the tears away. Of joy. Yeah. You were having such a good time. <laughs> but now's the time for business. Anything I'm else, Ash? I'm gonna ask. Hurts. Keeps gonna need Jesus. In a uh, second. We'll say. <laughs> Serviceable. I didn't, I didn't realize you cast I'm gonna need you to dump that down for me. As if you're talking to a child. What is a child? My kind don't have. Someone with lower <laughs> intelligence. Okay, he doesn't need help. End of turn. Alright. Bling, what are you doing? Yes, sir. Back behind the tree. Yep. Sixteen? Yep. Okay. You only have one attack? Ah, uh, that's right. Sir. All right. Yep. Twenty-five. Yep. Nope. And the staff never stopped this time around. Ot. Hello, Dan. What are you doing? Right. Uh, is Hex still active on him? Yep. Uh... Yep. Yeah. I, you rolled a six earlier. So I'll just add plus six. Roll me that damage. Oh, 
on the first one. Nice. So it's three plus six plus nine, but you the, feel oh, wait, yeah, what? It's just six. The... Oh, okay. And then the three from the D two. Okay, so six, but you feel, um, you feel kind of lightly enhanced a little bit, and uh, you notice this kind of hits harder than it should have. But just a little bit harder. Like you would put a little more oomph into that one to really get it to hit. Anything else? Uh, Alright. Okay. How far can you move? One, two, one. Two. And then it's gonna go here. Uh, nope. It uses space step. And now it is going to hit your steel defender. Boop, boop. Is it 25 at your steel defender? Um, don't check your. Uh, well, hold on a minute. How far, how far did it move? It came to here. How for you? What was the distance? It's 30. Wait, th wasn't it more than that from here? No, because it moved here, and then it moved here, and because he. As here, can reach you from here. I just moved him here. But is that its max range? What? So he, he moved, so he he moved five ten to. Correct. Oh, he teleported. Okay. He has okay. face step, which is misty step, but worded differently. Okay. Okay. So he hit the uh, missile defender. Yes. 10 slashing and 13 psychic. Okay. Oop. How much HP does your shield defender have anyway? Uh, she's at 36. Good job, Zoo. <laughs> then we're gonna uh Go for it. Jesus. Yikes. Uh attack. Yeah, uh, he did. Okay, this one is going to move here, and he's going to go for Zoop, because Zoop has become big! I think a 22 hits Zoop. Uh, yep. Uh, he takes 30 psychic and 4 slashing. And yeah. This one's turn. Uh, this one is going to. Zoop is now small. Yep, Zoop is indeed. Why does this keep happening? 
this one's going to move here, and then down, and then down, and it's going to hit you. Um... Oh no! That's unfortunate. So it's, it's straight. So he has to 26 at least, and the other one's 8. It's... So it's advantage. Yeah, so he's at least one crit on you. Yeah. You're gonna take... 40... 52 psychic and 12 like slashing. That? Yeah, but he has advantage. Oh, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I was gonna say, like. Oh, straight yeah, but I crit on one of them. I crit on both of them, but they still get a disadvantage. Otherwise, he would have got crit twice. Okay, that hurt. Yeah, it sure did. What was that? That was like 50, um, 60 something damage. EOT. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so half my body's like split in half. Yep. <laughs> Some of your scales are gone. Couldn't be. <laughs> That's great. Oh, yeah. You have ten HP left. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he almost one shot me. <laughs> he didn't even roll really high on the psychic dice either. All right, you're touching Zoop. Zoop, you've got eight HP. All right. Do you have Do you have any dice left? I have three. Nice. Give him the three d six. Do you need to touch him to do it? Cool. Yeah. Nice. All my dice. You get 13 HP, Snack. And bonus. And bonus 3 bonus. HP. Or 3 temporary, whatever. I'll just give him bonus HP, I don't care. Yeah. Oh, alright. Oh, Max, okay. I fit. I did it on you. You're fine. Okay, perfect. Max, what are you doing? All right, give him the goods. Nice. So nine. Um. Oh, I, I gotta. I gotta use the bathroom, but okay. uh, I'm gonna just attack on my turn. The same guy okay. that's hurt. Four. So he's taking 17 and he's taking 6. Yeah. Alright. And a turn. He said I'm gonna hit the one that's hurt, but like there's two of them he can hit, so I'm gonna pick the lowest HP one, I guess. So the Yeah. Actually, yeah, everything should crit. It's just. Fine. Roll 2d8, and I'll add it. Move the first one to the first one, second to the second. Uh, this is the 1d8. Okay. <laughs> the... Okay, nice. nice. Nailed it. It, double it doubles damage, right? Hey. No, that's actually nice. Doubles nice. nice. Okay, and then this is the AOE. <laughs> nice. Nice. Then do I double sneak as well? No. 
it's didn't. It's because I because of how I have it set up. Yeah. Yes, you, you double snake attack. Yes, you double use sneak attack. Plus there you go. One magical damage. Magic in there. I mean, no. the magic fire makes fire him fire. overcome fire. the resistance that it has. But yeah, that's it. Like it's not. He's not. He's not getting any bonus points on that damage. You know what I mean? Um. You only have two D eight snake attack or two D six. Right. I mean, right yeah. Because I, I I have a one level warlock. Okay. So. I think. I heard him say that he's gonna do it. Where is his? There it is. Actually, I need to double check this. Yeah, oh my god. Chat, do I just give it to him? Like, look, it's 1 HP away. I just uh, kill it? It would be 3d6 sneak. Okay, I'll just... I just... Yeah, it would be. That's why I was waiting for you to say that. Um, So this one is fucking... Shoo! Me, 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 me. Good job, Serpent. And your... Hey, why is it when I roll, I hit, but when someone else rolls, they don't? So nice. He's gonna be so happy to hear that his steel defender crit when he wasn't here. I think he's. <laughs> it looked at it, it's your turn. <laughs> he shit himself what the <laughs> move my hex to this uh okay nice 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 very good. EOT? Okay, that one's dead. Zoop, it's your turn. Yep. Job goes there. Uh, goes my ass. Uh, yeah, he sure does. This one moves in here. Uh, it's going to attack you, Druid. Uh, one and a two. I think the first one hits. I don't know if the second one does. Okay. The first one to hit you for 28 psychic and seven slashing. Uh, uh, nope, that's, that's all it does. It's this one's turn. It's this one's turn. He's going to put one attack into tin can if it hits. Doesn't the second one. Oh, it has advantage of hit. Uh... Do I do I meta game my own attack? Because he's not here. Do I make the steel defender give disadvantage? So it's a straight roll, so he doesn't hit. Cause that's what I would do, but I don't know what he would do. So I'm Which playing one's it. One's attacking it. The purple one. Purple is attacking okay. Zoop, so Tin can can no, get. I'll just play all the characters. Yeah, 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 okay. So you're gonna use the reaction disadvantage so he doesn't hit on the first one. So then um, he's gonna try and hit the steel defender instead on the second one. And I don't think that hits. So, Ash, it's your turn. I think it is, let me see.
On the attack roll of one creature, yeah, because it's per creature. Okay. Oh! Yeah, well, either way, that still wouldn't hit it, because if you don't attack the defender, then you don't get disadvantage, but he rolled an 8 when he attacked the defender, and it's AC of 16, so. Alright, your turn, Ash, what are you doing? Nice. Bite him. Bite him in the ass cheek. Nice. Good we bite. Heat metal going. That one died. Yeah. No. That's this the... one. No, oh yeah, it's that one. Yeah. His sword's still on fire. It's just there. It's it's heated. You're heating it for sure. But it ain't doing nothing because that man's dead. It might a little. I need a con save after this. Anything else? Nope. All right, very good, Max. Okay. I still have the movement. Just barely. Yeah, just barely. <laughs> Even roll. Nice. Eighteen. Nineteen. Uh, seven. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. To this one. Seven. Uh, the... Very good. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit them with my fucking rapier. That's that's what he'd do, and by rapier I mean lance. One, two. Good job. I'm so glad you can hit on my turns and not yours. <laughs> Alright, what is that? 21? Okay, minus 21. I hit crit with your seal defender while you were gone. Nice. You're welcome. He hits when I'm not there. <laughs> Told you. And then your seal defender is going to hit here, but you're not going to hit. Well, you're back, so now it doesn't hit. Um, hello, it's your turn. <laughs> Nice. Good job. Roll damage. Nice. Yay. Uh, yep. Maybe this one out of the way. Alright, very good. Nice. Nice, Zoop. Good job, Zoop. You found your swings. Still above a hundred. Okay, it's this one's turn. It doesn't have advantage, so it's going to go for the druid. Um, stab, stab, druid. You're going to take eighteen psychic and nine slashing for a total of. 27 damage and that's the end of its turn your turn do it Does not hit. Even with advantage. And your plus one, it doesn't hit. Max! Um. You better get ready, you're gonna have to save the druid! What? That's 14... 19? 29? 29. Yeah. And 13 if it moves. Yep. Okay, Serpent, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to... Does it, does it look pretty hard? You want me to just play her character? Because she weren't here. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's, it's like half HP. 
Okay, so I'm going to, um, oh, what is this thing? Uh, charge for the I wonder what okay. he's gonna do. So I'm gonna move. Here. Okay. Then I'm gonna use uh, repulsive shield. Okay. So it moves at 15 minutes, uh, 15 feet away. Okay. Away from the druid. All right. I need a direction of what away is. Um. Push the attacker up to 15 feet away. Right. I so, need to know uh, a direction of where you want to push him 15 feet. Like that way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he ends up over here. All right. Yeah. So and then, um, uh, creature against shield. Okay, and then uh, my still defender is gonna. Boop. Nope. And miss, obviously. EOT. All right. Very good. Loading. What are you doing? Uh, first one hits. Nice. Nope. Nope misses. Nope misses. It's gonna go for your tin. It's gonna go for your, uh, seal defender. It's gonna take 19 damage. Ash, what are you doing? Nice. Nope. Well, yeah, it does. Nice. Max, do you have the range to still do it? I don't think you do. No, I'll have to. I won't be able to get back behind the tree. <laughs> oh, no. You'll make it to the other tree. You'll be fine. I'll make it to the other tree. Okay. You? So... Eighteen... All right, and 12 on movement. Sir. Yep. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to attack. Uh, uh... Eight, 19 hit. Yep. Nice. Loading. Are you blast? Nice. Nope. 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 Uh, yep. Yes. Well, yeah, one of them. Flashing. Nice. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Gonna try and do it. This fucking... He's gonna try, and he's gonna try real hard. Person's gonna be on your steel defender for 27. Ash. Fuzzy Wuzzy's oh, probably what? knocked the fuck out now. Oh, yep, yep. Fuzzy Wuzzy powering down. Ash, what are you doing? Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Good job. 
Nice, nice. Alright. <laughs> Zoop's looking we got rough, he's got some dents in his shit. Zoop bot. True. It is fun. He is functional. That is true. He is functional. So in case you guys are interested what they look like. Second, I'll give you. Look at that. Don't they look cool? Anyway, that's what they look like. So, you guys gonna do anything with their dead bodies? Yep, getting them. Yeah. You... wow. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna investigate their bodies. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. Jesus Christ. You guys are trying to... Are you, are you guys trying to find magic weapons? Is that what I'm hearing? Uh, they got long. Don't do much use for Zoop, but uh, take a peek. True. Mm. They didn't want to. Stop that. <laughs> um, so Okay Let's see, roll me Who's doing the investigating? You are? Yep Is someone assisting you? I am Okay, so 15. Nice. Um, roll me. I don't need six, but that'll do. Um, Here we go. That's good. That's 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 what I needed. Okay, so you find Just roll everything. You <laughs> you find a a spear of the lion. So when you, with a 10 foot running start, you can jump an additional 10 feet. Um, you find a lance of Ooh, interesting. Of the bear, uh, you have advantage in contest or saving throws if a failure leads you to be grappled or restrained. Nice. Can you post that somewhere? No, you can write it down. Okay, can you say it again, but slower? You find a lance of the bear. Yeah. Which means you have advantage on grappling contests or saving throws 
if a failure would lead you to be restrained. Okay. And then we have a long sword. Of might. Critical hits with this weapon deal an additional two damage. So that's kinda cool. Long sword of might anybody? And then the last piece you find is a dagger. Of brilliance. Um, Dagger of Brilliance is when you have this weapon on your person or wielded, this weapon will, you can inflict one additional damage to creatures that have a lower intelligence score than you. And those are the magic item weapons you guys find. Get that oh. Oh, yeah. Get that loading for the great sword. If you wanted to give it to Zoop. Okay, I just, was it a long sword? Oh yeah, I did say long sword. I don't know if you wanted to give it to him to use or not. Okay. Put this. All right. Very good. That's your loot. Oh, um, then there's that one last D20. All right, uh, total 23. You find a Oh. That's interesting. I don't think you guys want that though. Um let's look on the next table. What is oh, that? A grimoire? That's oh. crazy. That's a no. That's that's yes. too far down the table. That's that's too far. That's too far down the table. That got scary. We hit the legendary section and I was scared. Oh, what's that? That's kind of cool. Let's let's Google and see what this is. Oh, that's weird, but okay. Um, you get an instrument of scribing. This musical instrument has three charges. While you are playing it, you can use an action to expend one charge from the instrument and write a magical message on a non-magical object or a surface that you can see within 30 feet of you. The message can be six words long and written in a language you know. If you are a bard, you can scribe an additional seven words. Um, it can be seen in non-magical darkness. Uh, casting the spell magic erases the message, otherwise the message fades within 24 hours. 
instrument regains all charges daily at dawn if you are proficient with the musical instrument you can add your proficiency bonus to any ability checks to play music with the instruments etc etc um so for you one two snake uh yeah no while i was assisting you i took the lance go ahead go ahead and try to slide it i didn't i just took it so you did no, no. I took it. No, no. I took the lance while we were assisting. You were like going through, you're like, oh, that's cool. And I just like took it. I didn't try to hide it. I just took it. That's not how that works. <laughs> that's how real life works. <laughs> yeah. Without saying. Uh, the dangers of giving out magic items. Uh, I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't feel like arguing with uh, the soup can. Oh, I thought, I, thought, I thought you said the soup can took it. No, it's a loading it. So wait, you took it and gave it to Zoop? Oh no, okay. Maybe the two steel defenders, the steel defender and the warforge can talk to each other. Maybe they'll come to an understanding. Have you tried that? There was a death. It. Uh, do you have to tune to the dagger? No. I'm gonna tell you right now, um, it should be a high int user that has that, because I just looked at, um, his int, and that would not be helpful for him. <laughs> I mean, yeah, true. Alright, you guys find that stuff on their body and survey the place. There doesn't seem to be anything else around here except for a weirdly drawn house that's in like multiple sections. Great. I feel like I'm moving a house at this point. God. What, what did you, what did you... Moved your house. Well, oh, interesting. This, this is one of the, um, uh, replicate magical items that I have. What's well, similar? It's not exactly the same thing I'm doing anymore. Very cool. Right. You guys want to continue on to the next map, or you guys want to take a napsy? All right. Somewhere. Ow. The house was a lie. It's not real. It's like a major image. I'm gonna go over. You literally just went where I put those fucking NPCs on the GM layer. Alright, draw out your Leoman's tiny hut. Draw a circle. You guys gonna get in the circle? You guys gonna go? We have a sh shelter. True. And the outside is... Alright. 
Very good. All right, the move. The circle is Liam. It's so tiny. Glad you asked. I like how it's purple. purple. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Um, in, inside your dome, are you casting that ash? Right, the so, next house like invisible to the outside. No, nah, um, it's um, an invisible sphere of magic. Then another point: total cover blocks the sphere. So you guys have like total cover. You guys have plus five to wisdom and dex, and any light isn't visible. So you guys are completely covered in this. And then there's an unseen servant out of the blue. All right, what are you doing, Max? It's going to make a sandwich. Nice. He's going to use it. He's going to use the unseen. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm spent mastering um, culinary arts is paid off granting increase your constitution and proficiency with cook utensils if you don't already have it as part of shirt you can cook a special food provided you have the ingredients and cooked utensils you prepare enough of this food for a number of your creatures equal to four time your proficiency bonus so that's enough for all of them you have the short rest any creature who eats the food spends one or more hit die hit gains an extra 1d8 with one hour work you can finish you can cook a number of trees equal to your That's nice. Nice, nice snacks. Good, good job, chef. Oh, no, this is a, this is a long rest. You guys are sleep. You guys are full HP. Just guys, just sit long rest. Oh, okay. Yeah. Long rest. Nice. Everybody is well rested. Very good. What are you guys doing with the rest of your time? Hanging out, talking. I heard there was a sandwich being made. Even at level five? No, yeah. level six. Well, he's well, did, he I has level a, him up to six. So yeah, I'm not at level five. He should have sixty-eight from his hit dice and then ten from, from his, his con. con. Yeah, that's what I thought. But I mean, I was like, whatever, bro. I don't want to touch it because he's gonna do some whatever he wants with it when he gets back. Um, so congratulations! It's the morning. Where are you guys gonna go? You guys oh. fell well rested, oddly enough. It's a good time. You are gonna do what now? Lost my, 
boss fight? I barely know her. Or him. All right. Both. So who 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 is that Lance? Who has that lance? <laughs> By the way, I use mold earth and I bury the body. Okay, good job. But no, you didn't want to roleplay with me. But I take lance. <laughs> but I was, I was ready to roleplay right now. I was, I was gonna roleplay. Then roleplay! Entertain me! Is gold. The ball. <laughs> Entertain me! Alright? Listen, I'm the DM. I want entertainment from roleplays, alright? Motherfuckers. Sorry, I have a headache. <sighs> The problem is, though, I know you would like dumb it down, try to argue with Soup Can. This, uh, I don't think I could win. You know what helps with headaches? A good dot, dick. Dot, dot. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> one of the tentacles wakes. I mean, sorry, one of the vines wakes up and goes, hmm. <laughs> Shuffling, shuffling. He is coming on this map. Nah. Do you have pass without a trace? Oh. No. No. The work on. Link it. It might be a specialty pass without a chase. It might not be like pass without a chase as well. Welcome to the next map. Is like it. You and your companions. There you go. Right there. Where? First sentence. I don't know how to read. A veil of shadows and silence radiate from you, masking you and your companions from detection. Abjuration, it's the type of class there's certain um there's certain um wizard classes that get bonuses to certain spell types so like there's enchantment wizards which gets bonus to enchantments um which are like um like will save kind of things like dominate person charm person suggestion abjuration is kind of like shadow work and Stealth things, then you have evocation, which is like your fireballs, your lightning, sort of your elements. You have chroner chronergy, which is like time and uh, editing magic in the spaceship. Then you have divinity, which kind of plays with RNG and magic. Why the fuck do I know this off the top of my head? I need help. Geomancy. I wasn't finished. I was going to say geomancy, which does like earth and uh, sort of... Gravity. Gravity work. Gravid gra yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it either, but it's gravid something. It's there's it's it's for it's for the wizards. It's literally just for wizards because Gravitron. there's Gravaturgy. Yeah. Gravi yeah. Gravaturgy. I have it, so Alright, so everyone gets free plus ten bonus to dexterity cell checks. And you can't be tracked by magical means. If you want to, if you want to cast it, it last one hour. and you have it to concentrate. Stealth better. Yeah, but you have to concentrate on it. So if you con if you cast something else that has a concentration, you lose that. Okay. Unless you took one level of wizard, and then you know. You use the other spell and then never mind. Uh, it's, a, it's a whole. There's a whole build for that. It was. Stealthing. All right, give me stealth checks. Everybody who chooses to stealth, give me stealth checks. Otherwise, I will assume only plus ten. I will assume. Right, you I don't think it's me. 
Are you past that trace or no? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Uh, well, he. Yep. Which gives you advantage on select. Ooh, I'm gonna have to pull this up. Is that what it's called? Oh, it is. <laughs> That's the name of that monster. Okay. All right. You guys are doing pretty well on the stealth. Very good job. What's going on back here? You guys hanging out? There's plans. Yeah, not bad. Um, I'd like to take that stone out. What stone? Our, uh, god compass. Ah, yes! It's... orange. Brighter... Brighter orange, orange or... Stone? Yeah, no, it's for sure brighter orange. You don't know, like, the brightness means yet, but you know it's brighter. Well, you don't know like how close he is based off the brightness because this is the first time you've used it but you know he's closer yeah. or she or them could be more than one oh. all right give me the perception checks Very good. So glad you guys are perceiving the things. Deers? Yeah. It's just deers. Are the deer or they run? Bunch of deer. Just a bunch of deer. Dragons? What? Aragons are back. Some did someone say uh Ancient crystal dragon. Um, well, I mean, I thought that's true, you didn't. Is there like back baskets of delicious apples everywhere? <laughs> no, there's just deer. <laughs> Good luck, and dears. You have a time with them. Don't leave a deer. Or snaking? Okay. Drink of water. You can lead a zoopot to water. <laughs> I'm amused by that. You could have DM inspiration. Stop Stay on, on the shore. in the name of love while you perceive the things. Wait, where is it? All right. Very nice. I'm glad you're enjoying the river. Oh no, I'm you guys are actually stopping.
That's an ugly beer. That's... <laughs> <laughs> That might be. Oh, I can't tell oh, what it is. Yeah, I'm trying to zoom in. Oh, he's loaded the Minotaur. Yeah. Kind of. Minotaur. American Pie? Well, it, it's the actual. What is that? What is this? I'm interested in this. What is this? Oh, that's interesting. That's kind of cool. I like that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That, that one might be too hard. Eh, that might not be too hard. You guys have rested. Yeah, it should be fine. Oh, it's purple. Back to what the fuck is that? <laughs> Prepare for trouble and make it double to unite the <laughs> insert T Rocket here. Have they seen? I mean, you're hiding for now because of them, like, palm tree looking things. Or, like, those things next to the water, but, like, not very. What are they well, I'll tell you in a second. We run really, really fast. Did I do that wrong? What the fuck? Time for um, uh, the fireball. <laughs> oh, I don't think that fucking thing is working. Whatever, I'll roll it. Alright, so these dudes, with your eyes, you see that there is a shouting match going on between, well, so there's a shouting match going on between, like, the chieftain here. Uh, I don't know if you can tell which one's the chieftain, but he's kind of screaming here. And then this wizardly looking dude. So, they seem to be in a shouting match. And as you guys are doing the creep past, are you guys gonna stay and listen? Um, let's see. They're shouting in common. The chieftain and the um, wizard looking guy are shouting in common. The other sort of bugbear looking likes are shouting in goblin to the chieftain. And this big hulking like see-through monstrosity is speaking in this like garbling, wet, disgusting language that 
you are familiar with, but you don't necessarily know what he's saying. You understand the word kill, death, now, and then his, like, long sentence, and you see his giant hand point to the, uh, right here. No, this is saying it to the necromancer. Um, as you see... As you see, PvP commence. Oh, you guys can roll initiative to, like, be in the round. But not... Awesome. Yeah, you can roll initiative to be in the round, but... You're not necessarily gonna do anything until next round. Well, they're fighting each other. Um, yeah, so you'll see this thing go Hulk smash literally and go one, two. Um, and you'll see this guy take and then. You'll see him just like stop in in mid conversation. He just stops. Yeah, and you hear like a wet gurgling noise, and then come from the wizard. Uh, no, he did not. Now it's the top of the round. Hello, Odin, what are you doing? I'll just leave it at that. Alright. Steel Defender, what are you doing? Um, can you remove him? He's supposed to be on my turn. So I accidentally got them both. Okay. So what are you uh. doing? Okay. Uh, I'll look at Ellen. Which one's the bad one? What's Zoop gonna do? Max, what are you gonna do? Okay, for what? Like, what's your held action trigger? Okay, um... I'm pretty hidden, I think. Yeah, you are. Uh, if they attack, I'm gonna... Oh wait, I can't... Movement can't be a part of a nope. held action. No, okay. Uh... Um, and Max isn't gonna do anything. Okay. You hear the bugbear chief scream. I don't know if any of you speak in goblin, but you hear um go ham sandwich. I don't know. He moves here. Yes. Nope, doesn't hit him. You see this thing not even move. 
And then you hear more wet sort of speech. It moves here. Then it moves here. Um, and then it uses its special attack, Reaping Arms. And it's going to make three slam attacks. One, two, three. Um, with advantage against the Chieftain. So that'll hit that one for 15. This one, that is minus 19, that, that dude's dead, and then I want to hit for 18, and then he's going to now lose. his movement to move the rest of the way here. He'll take the AOO from this guy. That does hit him. And piercing, does that matter though? It does, but he hits, so he gets additional damage because it's still the first round of that, so there's that. Okay, this dude will then move here, and then he's going to bonk the wizard. Um, does it hit the wizard? It does. Okay, this dude's uh, dead. Um, Ash, what are you doing? <laughs> Until when? <laughs> As you guys are conversing, this one moves up. With advantage, bonk, no dice there. This guy, this guy goes ham. You hear, you hear knowledge, knowledge arcana. Ooh. What the fuck? I could be like, I'm, I'm assisting you now, in in knowledge it's, I can't uh... It's just the 14. Okay. Um. Yeah. You, uh, what are you, um. What kind of, uh, wizard are you? Anyone. Uh, Chrono. Uh, Articron? yeah, um, Decepticon? Yeah, you're a Decepticon? Um, Artificer slash Chronomon? Yeah. Um, I would say you advantage on this, but I don't think it matters. Um, because this is something that you would probably recognize. Um, you hear him bend space as you guys watch um, when they go to you watch kind of as time rewinds in front of you and you see like those two step back to their places and um, 
I don't know, I gotta move this guy out. These two out. And you see this guy end back over here. Except for... He's over here now, and this guy's here. And that's what he does on his turn. That's what you guys see. Um, he kind of warped space and time a little. Mr. Wizard. Kind of cool, right? Okay. And this is Bugbear Chieftain looks very confused. And starts screaming in Goblin. What do you do? We are going to get a surprise round on Yep. Okay. Nice. Nice. They make I the saves. Yeah. Yeah. So does it make the save on its turn or yours? I think it's its turn. Alright. Serp, what are you doing? Um... Move up here. Yep. Forty. Just gonna fucking trample some bushes, dude. Reminds me, um, the, you know the movie Little Labyrinth? Yeah. The guy that rides that dog. <laughs> I think of that all the time. Slants have range on it. Yep. Okay. Nice. Thank you for doing this. I appreciate EOT. you. Is it? Welcome. I mean, it may be EOT for you, but it is an EOT for you. You know what I mean? Sure. Um. Then it's turn, so it's going to bend space. When you hit it, you're not going to hit it, and it's going to go... Here. First of all. That's reaction. <laughs> Soup, what are you doing? Uh huh. Wait, so. Exchange position. Yeah. So he's gonna be over here. I moved him down here so I could. Move him here, and then move him here. Yeah, this it's it's like his homunculus or whatever. Was it minus nine? Wait, is this piercing, right? Are your weapons magical? He's got a So, 14. Cool. What is Zoop doing? Yeah.
Nice. First one hits, second one does not. Is weapon okay. magical? Okay. Uh, Alright, so six. Playing, what are you doing? Uh, on which one? Big boy or little boy? Yes, it hits. Your weapon magical? Uh, that's a good question. Next warrior gonna make it magical? Because if not, then no. I don't think so. Three warlock? Yeah, you have to have three. Yeah, okay. Then Okay, so it takes four, then ten, then five. Okay. This dude's dead. This dude. Oh boy. Um. Got multi attack. Uh, I mean, he can't against the bugbear. He's surprised against you guys, though. I don't think. Oh, does it really? I mean, yeah. I figured I would just. Yeah, sure. I don't mean. I don't care. Uh, Ash, your turn. Okay. You lose your pass without a trace now. Yeah, I'm just letting you know. Man, yeah, those deers are dangerous. Imagine if you had actually initiated the deer, what that actually would have been, because that's crazy. You ever seen cor the corpse explosion build from Diablo 4? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what those deer were. Uh, lack of vision before Diablo changed the um, those gloves included. Remember the gloves that they had where like the skeleton would run from you and then it would make that black mist from the corpse? Alright, spike growth. Draw me draw me the draw me the twenty foot radius of where spike growth is. Okay. Twenty foot radius. You know that's a lot bigger than what it is, right? Because 20 foot radius. Let me to draw it for you instead. Okay, because, um. Uh. Yeah, so it's 20 foot radius. Uh, how did you draw the. Yeah, Look and then... Make it a circle. Yeah, 
Yeah, snap to that's where and it is. Sure, and to linger. Is it a square? Yeah, and then All spears are square. Yep, okay. There you go. Now where do you want it? Okay, cool. Very good. This guy is fucking. Plants just pop up beside me. This guy's running. Um. He's 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 zooming and then gets hit by your spikes. Uh. Can you roll me the piercing damage it would take? Well, he just entered it, and then... Plus 2d4. Yeah, that's why I said, can you roll me the 2d4 so I could just times it over again. Okay. Yeah, he stops here, so he takes... 12. Yeah, 12. Right. Um, you watch him. Slam his staff and he hits Zoop with his fucking staff, conks so it. Surprised. Yeah, you guys are. Yeah, but he's still gonna hit him with the fucking staff. You guys have all went, so no, would you top of the still would be me alone. okay would Although they have to turns, they have to roll yeah that's that's what I was gonna ask I was like they does roll for web still. that's what I was gonna say do they need to roll for web even though it's their turn, but you guys are surprised yeah because you still have a turn you just can't. <sighs> What was it, DC? What? 15? 15. Okay. Saves. Uh, old guy. Oh, you're silvery barbsing the... the mage? Yep. Okay. He still I saves. Give, I give Zoop the advantage. Alright, very good. It's your turn. Okay. Fourteen points of damage. All right. So now he's not surprised, so he could do reactions and stuff, right? Well, yeah, yeah. Now. Okay. Um. Or is it 7, 10, 14? Okay, yeah, he'll take the 14 damage. Oh my god, why is it so hard to... It could be worse, he'll take the 14 damage. Anything else? 
Bonus in action. Derp, what you doing? So my still defender is going to disengage. Okay. And then I want to go ahead and die caster. Okay. Can you hit the caster from back there? Five feet? Uh, yeah, I got, I got, uh, I got reach with my lance. Okay. 27 will hit, yeah. Okay. 24. 11. EOT. Uh, gonna use his reaction to bend space. Here. I'm gonna go down here. And that's 24. 21. Uh, Soup, what are you doing? Congratulations on advantage, plus advantage, plus advantage, really you want advantage. <laughs> it would have, but... Wow, you're gonna be 40 soon? Wow. Jesus. You've been grinding cathedral? Alright. Yeah, it is. Alright. Um. Let's do back. <laughs> Does it 11 hit? No, it doesn't. Okay. Yes. Uh, for 12. Okay, good. Yeah, we'll end my turn. Max, what are you doing? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I was like, that one might be the better option. <clears throat> That'll hit. Okay, so three, seven. The sneak get halved? I don't think it does. It's own Whatever stat, it's yeah. Alright. Okay! It's its turn! Alright. That's not what I wanted. I know that that's... Okay, so... Uh, that's cool. We'll just do this instead. Uh, Zoop! I need you hopefully not get smacked. Um, one, two. Nice. Alright. Repostle him. Can you repost a miss? Yep, that's when you. Yeah, okay. What is the repose to do? He misses too. Misses? Everyone's missing? He does nothing. He does nothing. Oh, this bugbear is gonna fucking run away. You wanna okay, take an AO on it? it? I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> I, I mean, do you want to AO? You can. I just use my real. I'm talking to. Uh, um. Serp. No. I'm not. I'm not talking to him. Okay. Ash, what are you doing? Loading. Oh shit, okay. This one's Asta La Vista, but I need you to roll me that damage for the spike growth. Need 44. All right, this is going to be fun. You guys ready? Ready for how silly this is going to be? All right. So he's going to use out of phase movement. And he's going to move 30 feet. He's not hindered by difficult terrain so he's going to move here it also doesn't provoke an AOO um it is psychic damage for everyone he passes through so he did no one. Uh, yeah well that's where you're wrong uh A does psychic damage to his little homunculi here of five and then because the homunculi has taken damage it causes its psychic mirror to go off so everyone within 10 feet of him except for this guy takes five psychic damage so you and zoop and your sealed defender all take five psychic damage And yep. And then he is going to smack Zoop with a staff uh, with advantage. So thirty one will hit Zoop. Uh, Zoop, some okay. Uh, with a twenty-two. Yep. Okay, he will take fourteen bludgeoning and fifteen psychic, and he has to make a DC nineteen Constitution saving throw or be incapacitated. Ooh, so close. So close. So he is incapacitated to the next round. This dude's out of there. I'm not even going to make him take the damage because these dudes are all just see ya. Alright, a load in. Top of the round to you.
These dudes are kind of crazy, huh? <laughs> All right. What are you going to do with it? All right, sir, what are you doing? Um, I don't know. Question. <laughs> um, same thing again. Disengage, move here. Okay. You don't want to take an AOO from the big boy? No. <laughs> <laughs> Five. Okay. Three. Uh, Beauty. Yep. What's Zoop doing? Yep. Yeah. Can Zoop do it? Oh. Tack. Tack. Okay. So that's 10, no, 22, 20, 16. Does not hit. Uh, which one is 17? Is it the 22? So the third one hits. For 20. 20. But his weapon For is two. not magical. Yeah. Alright. Is that all? That is action surge too? Yep. Okay. Max, what are you doing? Every, you know, it doesn't even have to try really that hard. Um, you're within range now. It's gonna go after you, Aloden. Uh, one and two. I don't think either of those hit you though. Well, he has advantage. So twenty-one and a twenty-eight hit you. Okay. Um, you take eight bludgeoning damage. Very good. Much dangerous, right? You guys are so scared of it. It's not gonna hurt you. Ash, what are you doing? You just gonna hang out there? Pretty slim. All right.
Yeah. Alright, which one was it on? The... Okay. Okay, so... Mage is gonna do a thing. Oh wait, that guy... Okay. Um... Okay, um, he's going to laugh and say something in wet, and then the other monster responds, and he is going to cast Collapse Distance, um, on this thing, and he is going to move him. Here and because the guy willingly fails the will save, you two, Zoop, and a load in, you will take 44 psychic damage. And then he's going to move here, here, you're gonna take your AOO. No, I'm talking to... Zoop? Zoop's unconscious. I'm talking to Reach Boy, Serpent. Yep. Do you yeah, wanna yeah, take your AOA? Yeah. Uh, that'll hit. Um, and he's going to instead bend space. He's gonna end up down here, and this guy's gonna end back up here where he was, and he's gonna go here. <laughs> Ash. Um, Loden, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. The target can fail. Yeah. What? Mm hmm. That if it all. Night Cloud. For the record, he'd fail. He rolled an eight. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm you, if you wanted. Changed. True, if you wanted. Take that psychic damage and you like it. <laughs> Dude, we need like a we need like a cure wounds counter for Zoop in my stream chat. <laughs> like how many times Zoop gets fucking cure wounds to fucking heal, dude. Good lord. So fifteen for Zoop? No, just the two. Oh, okay. The other parts. Yeah, you're gonna hack them for five? <laughs> Anything else?
Right. Derp. On which one? Uh, the wizard. So, I have a question, and this may be due to my, like, lack of playing with reach weapons, but if someone's next to them and you have a reach weapon, do they still get advantage? Yeah. Because technically you'd have to be, like, back here, but yeah, okay. 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 Oop doing. Okay. Uh Yep. Nice. Uh and twenty thirty. Add that by two. Twenty-one. Okay. Very good. Max, what are you doing? Okay. Oh. Alright. He's going to Hulk smash. One on you. First one on you. Second one on Zoop. Nope. 21. Okay, for 17 bludgeoning. Hey. Ash, it's your turn. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yep. Action, can I disengage? Yes. Yeah. Or can I move? Your movement, Your movement once. My movement? You want to go 30 feet? Here? You you're right here, yeah. <laughs> Where are you trying to go? Twenty five. Okay, there you go. My turn. Nice. Um. I need your. I need to check something really quick. I need to Google something really quick too. Um. 
Um, I need your steel defender to make me a wisdom saving throw. Uh, yep, yep. Oof. He is now... over here. Um, choosing collapse distance again. Um, everyone within 10 feet of the original place, so that would be you and the druid, take... A recharge of six? Uh, yeah, and uh, no. Um, do you remember when you like, so how I did it is when you, when it says a recharge of six, I've rolled a D six and if it landed on a six or a five, when it says five and six, that's its recharge. Cause if, cause with how high you guys hit, um, it won't make it to use it again because you guys will kill it before six rounds are done because of your damage output. Well, yeah, that's the point. Right. It's fine, you guys aren't gonna die. I it's mean, both of my I, it only happens at the origin point, and you guys weren't 10 within the origin. It was from the sealed defender. So it's like over here. Oh, you use it on Yeah. Uh, only thirty-five. Loading, oh, it's your turn. Oh shit! We took thirty-five. So me and the droid took thirty-five points of damage. Yep, thirty-five psychic. And a loden fell over on the ground. Minus thirty-five. Oh, damn. Alright, hit a target. Four. Serpent, it's your turn. Yeah, it just uh lower my health. Yep. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Which is again why it only. You'll be uh, fine. He'll die in the next round or two, and you guys will live. He'll die in the next round or two because fucking Max hasn't even been touched on his HP. Mounting in combat. <laughs> what are you gonna mount? Just a... That's the defender. Well, what's your movement speed? Movement it. it takes half your movement to mount it. <laughs> you gotta walk to it all the way up here. I can just. I can just tell it to come to me, and then I use my movement to get on it. Yep. <laughs> so what you're saying? Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Uh. Okay. Nice. Uh, because I I can only use my lance. Yeah. Um. One-handed with my shield on the mount. Mm-hmm. So because on the ground I have to use two hands. Mm-hmm. That on it? Then EOT. Alright, that's... Very good. Soup. Does he have a healing spell this time? Probably not. No, he should. Oh, okay. Soup can yeah. feed you a healing potion. I'm sure he has one of those or two of those laying around. It's like when I tell people to have two when they create their characters, they don't listen. Nice, that'll hit. That one won't. What is that? 
What do you mean? Oh yeah, that's right, you're unconscious. Nope, neither one does. Lang, what are you doing? I mean, I just don't know which one you're gonna hit. The small one. Why? Yeah, he's alone now. Yeah. Advantage. Nope. Hulk smash. Nope. Fourteen. Ash. All right, pick one. Which one do you touch? All right. Nice. Okay. Got this, buddy. You got this, buddy. The nice. It's a healing word on. Uh, nice. Yep. All right. Good job. This guy. He's going to move. Oh, that's fine. He's going to move down here. He'll take the AOO from your lance. Okay, that'll hit. Alright, he's going to target Max. Those probably will both hit. Yep. For 24 and 15, so 39. Uh, 39 psychic damage. Okay, so instead of... It's like 19 damage you would take. Yeah. Load in. <laughs> All right, anything else? Okay, sir. Oh, sir, what are you doing? Nineteen out of twenty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Six. Ten. Yeah. All right. Eighteen. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. You hit first time. Guilty. Okay, Zoop. What are you doing? We're back. That IBS again, huh? Loden, what are you doing for Zoop? Ooh, ooh. All right. Zoop really needs to get a magic weapon. <laughs> Never mind, you say it first. Max, what are you doing? Well, I mean, we've run. You have so many magic items. Like, what do you mean? Well, listen, all I'm saying 
is who'd you hit? The long sword. I thought those. Yeah, the long sword could be used, but you he'd rather use it's, a great sword. Well, yeah, I can't use. Oh well, me. Who'd you hit? Oh, he's dead, by the way. So like. Oh. Yeah. Hang on. Hey, let me move. That's why I was like, what are you? I was like, why are you down there? What are you doing? Calculate that. Re <laughs> Rerouting. Rerouting. <laughs> Rerouting. Yeah, What's up, Slayer? How are you? Alright. Give it to him. The 23 will hit him, yeah. Roll damage. That's, I was gonna say. Alright. Um. Hey, Druid. Take 13 bludgeoning damage. How have you been, Slayer? Can's fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, you would hope it does. It does. Yep. Nice. We're good. He's dead. Hello, what are you doing? All right. Oh, with advantage, yeah, it hits. I don't have. They wouldn't you have advantage from both of them being there. No, range. Oh, range doesn't get it. Yeah, gotcha. Nope, that does not hit then. Else? Nope. Derp. Ooh. Ooh. Is that 20? Yeah. Roll damage. Yeah, you kill him too. Yeah, you guys killed him. Woo! So nice, right? Very, very hard fight. Much wow. Much damage. Alright. So, I'm gonna go to the bathroom because I have to go pee, but there's going to be some nice loot on this. So, decide who has the highest investigation between you and who's going to assist because uh, you're gonna want it for these two rolls. Okay? But I will be right back. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to the ladies' room. But, uh... Yeah. Oh, 
Dragons in the sky, the binding has begun. Shadow versus light, who will stand when he is done? Magisters of fright, his destiny it calls. Inquisitor, your hand will reprimand before he falls. Now are the days of wine and gilded arms. Now are the days when magic is reborn. Seal up the breach, the evil is no more. of the evils yet to come inquisitors delight a destiny it shines magister your ancient hand is broken in the light have we decided who's going to roll uh go with the load screens which i think they pretty much what load screen uh, what are we talking about? Oh, okay. So, who's gonna be doing investigation? Oh, yeah. There's zero issues with how that Uh, yeah, it, there's no issues because you can't play. Yeah, exactly. Why can't you play? Imagine getting into servers. Why are you playing Last Epoch anymore? Like, I can't every half the time I try to play, like. Last yeah. Epoch? He means Helldivers yeah, Epoch, playing. I, I don't know. Um, I've been playing for the past about two days now, and uh, I had zero issues with connection. Well, Last Epoch hadn't been out two weeks yet. So, who's rolling? Um, I'll roll investigation. Do you want loot? Roll investigation. Great. Twenty-three. You, man with the god in his head, Elodin. You hear today could go. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't think he would be there. Oh, are you guys looking at the orb? Okay. All right, that's a nice. Well, did, she, did she respond? Um. She goes. Um. Orange. Is a mixed color. He goes, and that means there were two. She goes, I don't know, but what color does it glow now, considering what you've done? Like here in the open? <laughs> oh, yeah. Is it still well, orange? No, I'm not looking at my path. They're green. Oh. Oh. Um. Then I'll 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 look in the, the orb. <laughs> So, red and yellow make orange, so it's just yellow now. The orb is now yellow. No oh. longer orange. Mm -hmm. 
the one on the ground and she'll like she'll uh you'll see you kind of feel like the image of a younger version of this wizard man in front of you appear in your head she goes this is what he looked like when i last saw him i wonder why he's aged Hmm. Interesting. She nods and goes, it could have been hedonism. She goes, anyway, enjoy the loot from them and... Seems like you might need a rest. Well... Afterwards, I'm sure all your comrades do as well. Alright, so with that investigation, that's why it turns color. Ooh. In yellow. Interesting. It might have been one in Bugbear. Yeah, Ash. Why didn't you attack them? Should have killed them. I had these a Yeah. I'll, I'll I'll continue uh digging through their shit. Okay. Yeah, what did we get? I'm scrolling. Yep, yeah, there's quite a lot here. Fucking dead bodies. <laughs> um, oh, eh. Ooh. Hmm, that might be a little too strong early. That that's a little crazy. Uh. Well, what is it? Uh, we'll tell you if it's too strong. I uh, know, cause you're gonna want it. That's why I know it's too strong. <sighs> it's a legendary item, but yeah. I, everyone would fight over it, though. But I think only two people can use it. Uh, 
I, this this isn't a table. This is I've specifically picked out like twenty of items that I wanted. They're all very rare, legendary or rare. We are level eight. Uh huh. And how many times? How much damage did you guys take eight. at level eight? I got one shot. Yeah. So. Eight. I don't know. You guys are six, but yeah. We leveled up. Wouldn't that be about a bitch if you did? Yeah, how much XP is a god? Yeah, I mean, do you want to level? I don't really care. You can be level 20. I'll still fucking run you for your HP. You're level 20? Not yet. And how much time is Do you? Yeah, okay. Let me see. Um. Alright, so. I mean, this is kind of cool, and I like this. It's a legendary item, but you have to be attuned to it. So. You would lose out something, wizard, if you attuned to this. So, I don't know how you'd vibe with this. Officer. Um, nope, it's specifically wizard. I mean, I don't, I mean, to be fair, it's, it's a caster weapon. I can just say requires attunement by a caster instead of by wizard. Because I really don't care. I'll just say well, attunement by have, caster. I only have one thing. Alright. So, so this, this is the lesser of the two. Um, legendaries, because I don't really care. These don't, this one doesn't scare me very much. Um, this quarter staff has an unassuming appearance, looking like any other. Um, once attuned, uh, the staff takes an appearance that complements that of your spell book. For some of this, it may be a stone spire inscribed with thousands of rooms, which represents the spells of the spell book. For others, it's a scroll rolled impossibly tight. While attuned to this staff, you gain a plus three bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this staff. While holding it, you also gain a plus three to spell attack rolls, and it is considered an arcane staff. While attuned to this, it is considered a spell book for you. If your spell book is lost or destroyed, this staff magically absorbs the spells written within it, and you can transcribe them from this staff to another spell book at your choice. Additionally, when you use your arcane recovery feature, the spell slots you recover can have a combined level to the, a combined level of two plus half your caster level rounded up. These spells must still be a fifth level or lower. The staff that this god was wielding was called the tower. Does that so? So does that mean this guy was using the staff as his spell book, and now all of his spells are it on the staff? It sure is. Don't don't pay attention to the requires attunement by wizard. I changed it to caster. Oh, but congrats, Dean can or Zoop can. You got a new walking stick. Yeah, Zoop <laughs> Zoop has them. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh... All right, and um, let's see. I'm gonna run his pockets too. His bag of holding. Yep. Looking through everything. Um. There is a, another. It's a mace. Um, you gain plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this magic weapon. Um, if you are a warlock, you have the improved packed weapon feature, and you gain plus one bonus to spell attack rolls made with this weapon. Um, while attuned to this weapon and you are a warlock, uh, you gain the Devil's Sight Invocation. I don't know if any of you guys are interested in that. I know we have a couple warlocks in here.
Can you use maces? Yes, because of actually. Nice. I believe I got a marshal. Yeah, so this one. Actually, what is mace? Is it two hand or is it? Um. Mace is one hand. Mace is one hand. Here you go. Okay. That's for you. Enjoy your Back. free, improved packed weapon feature. Hexblade. Max is gonna kinda hold it. This isn't. Uh. Balance is a bit off. Yep, and you also have. Weird. You also have Devil's Sight now. It doesn't count towards your Eldritch Invocation. That's okay. You have it now for free. All right. Um. Does anyone here use hand axes or daggers? Data of roll twenty does not. Oh, it's in addition if you have the improved pack weapon feature. I don't yeah. Have the improved pack weapon feature. It's the plus one. Yeah, to attack and damage roll. I'm a magic weapon now, though. Um. Actually, I have a question on this because I'm. Um, yeah. Blade, my patron is my weapon, so how does this work? Well, it looks like you gotta put that other weapon in your pocket and keep this one on you. Can you use a javelin? Or a spear? Or, um... Here's what, monster weapon? Yeah. We gotta get a weapon for Zoop. You can use a javelin? Nice, okay. So, there's a javelin here. This... I think it can be both. Alright, um... Okay. You, this is called the Spear or Javelin of Backbiting. Uh, you gain a plus two bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this magic weapon. When you throw it, it's normal and long range is both increased by 30 feet and it deals one extra die of damage on hit. After you throw it and it hits or misses, it flies back to your hand immediately. Um... Or if you roll a one, I think it's you, or you make a attack roll against yourself. Uh huh. Yeah. Don't roll the one. Yep. All right, and we need to get. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just remove curse on yourself. Oh. What is this? The returning javelin. Oh, that's, that's dumb. That's, that's dumb. Um. Oh, he might like this one. He uses great swords, right? So, 
Sword of Life Stealing. Uh, it's a great sword, and pretty much if he rolls a 20 on the attack roll, they take 10 extra necrotic damage, and he gets 10 temp hit points. Uh, that doesn't seem that exciting, though. On, on a crit? Uh-huh, on a crit. That one doesn't seem as exciting either. None of these are very exciting. Let's see. No, it doesn't have to be. Well, I mean, I could. Or a sword of the guy, but. I could. I mean, the only other thing was I was thinking of a great axe. Uh. Oh, no, he can't do that one. Oh, if only you could use great axes. This one specifically requires you to be a dwarf. And turn into a dwarven axe. Let's see. Um, that's fine. Um, oh, I'd probably like this one. Uh, you gain a plus two bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this magic axe. The axe deals an extra 1d6 necrotic damage to creatures that aren't constructs or undead. Uh, if you reduce such a creature to zero hit points with an attack using it, you gain 10 hit points. This axe is forged from dark rust-colored metal and once belong to somebody. Period. That sounds nice. Pretty simple. Nice. Nice healing if he kills creatures. Nice. We'll call it the blood axe. Oh wait, I actually can't use the mace because I don't get sneak attack. Back to the rapier. Enjoy, enjoy your rapier. In the mesa, a light weapon. Oh, it has to be finesse. It has to be finesse. Um, let's see. Let me. Is it Marshall? Rapier is what you use. How do you use it? Uh. uh what is finesse? Rapier, scimitar, dagger. Hmm. This is gonna be interesting. Let's see. Um. Nope. Nope. Um. Dark. That's range only. Short sword. That's dumb. I don't like that one. Trident. Warhammer. Whip. Well, that's kind of interesting. Um. Are you interested in whips? 
starting out at half the damage of the rapier, but. Um. Uh. Gain a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls. Um. When you hit with it, you do base weapon damage plus 3d6 poison damage. And then, um, if you kill a creature with it, um, gain five temporary hit points. Called Lash of Snakes. Uh, everyone has weapons now, right? Fantastic. Now, oh, I still need a weapon. You already got one, or do you want to? Oh, I need to get your legendary one. Fuck. Uh, very rare legendary. What do you use? Do you prefer lances? Yeah. Oh. I just got. It's, it's like a utility. It's, it only works if, if something was to grapple me and I would end up being restrained. Oh, so that'd be like okay. a Lance. snake, maybe? Octopus tree. <laughs> uh, I don't have any lances on my legendary guide. Pick a different weapon. Very rare in legendaries. There's no lances. Anything would reach? Uh, pole arms? Does that work? Can you use those? Um, is it mark? Yeah, I can't with heavy. Uh, what weapons can you use? Um, do you have, do you have crossbow? Uh... Uh, nope. I can, I can use, no, I can use martial and simple. Martial and simple. And no heavy. Warhammer? Trident. Trident's cool. You want a trident? Yeah, let's do trident. They're all silly, but. Okay, um. You gain a plus two to attack and damage rolls. Um, this is a sentient weapon of neutral alignment. Um, you now understand and can read Aquin. Um, you can cast, create, and destroy water three times. Sorry, create water and shape water three times a day. Also, while the trident is in your hand, you can speak with um, aquatic creatures through the sentience of this uh, trident. And we're going to call that uh, Maiden's Tear. You guys wanted to know what the okay. 
You guys want to know what the item was that I was like, yikes, I can't do that? It was Robe of the Magi. Can I see why I was like, Ooh. Arc Magi. I was just like, yeah, I don't know about that one. Anyways, you guys all enjoy your weapons. You guys have fun. You guys have another god to kill next episode. Whoever Oops. Yellow is, you guys have felled your first god. How'd that feel? What, what a bitch. <laughs> yeah, well, it only gets harder from here. And I want to skin him. You want to skin him? Alright, go for it. <laughs> Uh, do, do we uh, know what what god he is? Like his name? Um, Sadega knows who he is. Sadega hasn't said who he is yet, because she said it's interesting, and she said uh she has to uh consult her network for more information about why he was there in that place, because uh the math ain't mathin. You know what I mean? For her, at least. Okay. So she didn't tell us who it is. She hasn't told you who it is. She knows who it is, but something's wrong. Red, Red shouldn't be working with yellow. This is the vibe she gave you. Hello, Dan. So. Well. Yeah. What, uh... Yeah, you're gonna like that spell list, huh? If okay, so here's a question I have for you: If he has like seventh level spells in his spell book, can you cast them? I don't think no. so because you can only use up to the slot yeah. you have. Yeah, I'm gonna right. I'm gonna fill you. I'm gonna fill it all the way in because he had up to six level spells. Um, but I don't think you can use them. I think you can only use four right now. Yeah, he's level. What are you guys? Level six? I think he was like level twelve. On his. Now we're level seven. No, when you defeat the other god, you'll be level seven. Oh. He's not that far away. Trust. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't care. I like people with XP. They'd be like, Karma, you're leveling these people so fast, dude. I don't care. Be level twenty. Have fun with your characters, dude. This is supposed to be fun. You know? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Alright. So thank you guys for hanging out today. And I will see all of you guys next Friday. Bye! Thank and thank you, chat, for hanging out. Much love. Mwah. Bye!